Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board this ASMR flight to the Maldives. We would now like to request your full attention as the flight attendants demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. When the seatbelt sign illuminates, you must fasten your seatbelt, insert the metal fittings one into the other, and tighten by pulling on the loose end of the strap. To release your seatbelt, lift the upper portion of the buckle. We suggest that you keep your seatbelt fastened throughout the flight as we may experience turbulence. There are several emergency exits on board this aircraft. Please take a few moments now to locate your nearest exit, bearing in mind that your nearest exit may be located behind you. If we need to Evacuate the aircraft, floor level lighting will guide you towards the exit. Doors can be opened by moving the handle in the direction of the arrow. Each door is equipped with an inflatable slide, which may also be detached and used as a life raft. Oxygen and the air pressure are always being monitored. In the event of a decompression, an oxygen mask will automatically appear in front of start the flow of oxygen, pull the mask towards you. Place it firmly over your nose and mouth, secure the elastic band behind your head, and breathe normally. Although the bag does not inflate, oxygen is flowing to the mask. If you are travelling with a child or someone who requires assistance, secure your mask first, and then assist the other person. Keep your mask on until a uniformed crew member advises you to remove it. In the event of an emergency, please assume the brace position. Lean forward with your hands on top of your head and your elbows against your thighs, ensuring that your feet are flat on the floor. A life vest is located in a pouch under your seat or between the armrests. When instructed to do so, Open the plastic pouch and remove the vest. Slip it over your head. Pass the straps around your waist and adjust at the front. To inflate the vest, pull firmly on the red toggle, only when leaving the aircraft. If you need to refill the vest, blow into the mouthpieces. There is a light and a whistle to attract attention. Please note seat bottom cushion can also be used as a flotation device. Pull the cushion from the seat, slip your arms into the straps and tug the cushion to your chest. At this time, your portable electronic devices must be set to airplane mode until an announcement is made upon arrival. We politely remind you that this is a non-smoking flight. Tampering with Disabling or destroying the smoke detectors located in the lavatories is prohibited by law. You will find this and all the other safety information in the card located in the seat pocket in front of you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask one of our crew members. Thank you for your attention and we wish you all a relaxing and enjoyable flight. Hello and welcome on board. My name is Lottie and I'm going to be your personal flight attendant here in first class for the entirety of today's flight. How are you feeling? Yeah, excited to be getting on holiday. Hopefully your holiday starts right here on this aircraft where we will do our very best to make sure that you have the most enjoyable and luxurious journey with us. Now, can I get you a hot steamed towel? Of course. I always feel like this starts the flight off quite nicely. Nice and refreshed from the get go. Now, how about a nice cold glass? 
glass of champagne of course besides holidays definitely definitely something to be celebrating on board so if you would prefer to have something warming on your eyes then that do if possible but I personally would recommend having this fresh from the refrigerator which we can do for you no problem okay. it's also got a nice furry back soft on the eyes. Okay, so I'm going to leave both sleep masks here beside you. Now, as I'm sure you are well aware, we do have um, dinner coming up very shortly, um, and I thought I would through the menu for you and if you're interested I'd be happy to read the breakfast and um, afternoon tea menu as well 
I also would like to share with you the set menu as well that we have on offer tonight so you can order from the a la carte or you can order the set tasting menu um, I absolutely adore the tasting menus because it's more of a sort of fine dining vibe but either way would you be interested in hearing what and I will happily read out the dinner menu for tonight first of all so starting off with our canapes we have Shropshire blue cheese with spiced apple jelly and candied pecans Gingla smoked salmon with cream cheese and caviar Cumbrian air dried salami with sliced olive and some blushed tomatoes with cornicle. Now moving on to the starters for this evening. We have oak smoked Gressingham duck with melon, pomegranate and parsley puree, followed by an Italian burrata with English garden peas, summer truffle and then we have the lobster tortelloni with the clam and sweet corn chowder and tarragon oil. We then have the asparagus soup with scorched onions and sourdough croutons. And the final starter on offer tonight is the seasonal mixed leaf salad with spicy lemon vinaigrette or creamy honey mustard dressing. Now to move on to the main courses, we have seared fillet of aged Arkansas beef with caramelized caper butter, red wine chew, roasted fine tomatoes, wild mushrooms and pine nuts. We then have the pan fried stone pan and a saffron per block. Next we have the dinkly dal pork cutlet with sage gravy, apple and somerset cider. Then the final main course on offer is the crispy spring vegetable gnocchi with creamy tomato sauce and Thai basil. We also have a salad of side dishes including chap croquettes, buttered green beans and honey glazed carrots and french fries of course. <laughs> now moving on to the desserts, my favourite. We have a tiramisu mousse, sticky toffee pudding, rhubarb and almond hazelnut brownie with Madagascan vanilla ice cream, cookie dough cheesecake with cherry coulis, a flourless chocolate tart with chili chocolate sauce, a warm pear and almond tart with creme anglaise, and then a selection of seasonal fruits. We then have a cheese is a soft blue veined cheese with an outstanding creamy, smooth yet tangy flavour. We then have a Gruyere style cheese made with unpasteurised cow's milk. The flavour is sweet but slightly salty, varying greatly with age. We then have a Cornish yarg coated with nettle leaves. This cow's milk cheese is moist tangy flavour. Then we have finally a Reblochon, soft nutty tasting cheese that is made from unpasteurised cow's milk. And this will come with grapes, cracker, 
asparagus and a quince jelly and then of course if you're wanting tea or coffee after your meal that is available we also have a selection of after dinner chocolates that you can have as well okay now moving on to the tasting menu which I would highly recommend by the way if you are wanting more fine dining experience okay so we have a five course tasting menu to give you the opportunity to sample a selection of seasonal delicacies okay so starting off with a char siu duck with cucumber and a spring onion salsa to be enjoyed with a fig tree Sauvignon Blanc. Okay, so the tasting menu does include the wine pairing. We then have a carrot and ginger soup with coriander cream, followed by a sauteed lobster tail with a light spiced beurre blanc, coriander, tagliatelle, and glazed mango. And this can be We then have the braised pork belly with kale, salsa verde and plum jus. This is paired with a Bordeaux. And finally the caramelised pear and white chocolate mousse. Um, and this is paired with a pudding wine. Okay. Now would you like to hear the breakfast menu? start off we have the starters and then the main courses and of course the drinks include uh, teas and coffees and things like that okay so for the starters we have chilled fruit juice carrot and mango energizer which is a blend of sweet carrot and mango which is freshly juiced on board we have homemade fresh seasonal fruit, selection of yogurts, selection of breakfast pastries and rolls, and then a toasted bitter bread with grilled halloumi and Mediterranean vegetables. Moving on to the main courses for breakfast tomorrow, we have the traditional English breakfast of scrambled eggs, sausage, back bacon, mushrooms, roasted potatoes and grilled tomato. We then have an eggs benedict served with an asparagus quiche and finally the homemade American style pancakes with pecans, dried fruits and maple syrup. And then I can share with you now the afternoon tea is a great British tradition, okay, served with tea, a selection of sandwiches and pastries and sweet treats. So starting off with the sandwiches, we have a French brie with ricchetto, chili jam and wild rocket on a seeded charcoal roll, a peppered pastrami with thick lily on soft grain bread, Scottish smoked salmon with seasoned soft cheese, fresh dill and zesty lemon on a mini bagel. Then there are some cold cuts including smoked salmon, avocado and creme fraiche puree and quail egg. And for the patisserie we have a chocolate and orange opera, a lemon macaron and a now, and of course, to complete the tradition of a great British afternoon tea, we have scones and jam, which are freshly baked buttermilk or fruit scones with clotted cream and strawberry preserve. Okay, so hopefully that will give you an idea as to what you can expect with the dining on board. Now we do have those options available to you 24 7 okay so if you want breakfast for dinner that's completely fine um, 
and I do have here a selection of snacks as well which are also available to you in unlimited quantities 24-7 Okay, would you like to see, because I can imagine hearing about all that food So the first snack we have some sprinkles. I feel like this is such a classic um, snack. And truth be told, I'd probably get through a whole tub on my own. <laughs> and of course, you're completely welcome to do exactly that if you would like. Okay. We then have. friendly if you are on a keto diet by any chance. <laughs> okay, moving on to the sweet treats. We first have a white chocolate Kinder Bueno. So tasty. And I also feel like Those are all of the snacks available to you to request at any time throughout the flight. Okay, now my darling, before it is dinner time, I would like to ask you uh, if you would be interested in a complimentary LMS facial on board today. All of our first receive a complimentary LMS Express facial if they would like. So, uh, would you like one of those now? Of course. Okay. I'd be very happy to carry that out for you. Um, I'm not only a hostess, but 
also qualified uh, with the Animus facial treatment, as are all of the other flight attendants here in first class. We do like to make sure that our passengers are completely pampered and taken care of throughout the flight. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start off by cleansing the skin just to lift any dirt oils or any impurities from the surface of the skin. And I'm using here the Elements Balancing Lime Blossom Cleanser. This is a purifying cleansing mouth. that product now with some cotton pads. a face mask and this is the Animus Papaya Enzyme
in with a different cleanser As double cleansing is one of the best things to do and this cleanser is just going to lift off any of the dead skin cells that were uh, lifted away by the exfoliating mask and this is the Holy Grail products and a lot of our clients in first class agree. It also smells like a spa. In fact, I feel like most Elemis products smell like spa. This has got the texture of softened butter almost, it just melts into the skin. Now moving on to a toner. I'm going to use the Elemis Rehydrating Ginseng Toner. This is a refreshing facial toner. It effectively tones the skin, rebalances the natural pH level, and preserves the natural oil. Pro Collagen Marine Oil. This is an anti wrinkle hydrate.
and I will 